there he is. The buck I wanted to see. We've seen this deer for years. He's always been killable at the beginning of the season too. Not to mention tomorrow's the opener. <laughs> Growing up living the outdoor lifestyle ever since I could walk, it has instilled a passion within that is greater than any other. Not a day with a big buck tonight. Hunting has taught me an appreciation and love for the animals we pursue and the wild places they call home. But above all, when your hard work meets opportunity and the moment of truth presents itself, the period of time when the whole world stops and you're completely engulfed in the moment, there is truly nothing like it. After all these years and the amazing experiences with loved ones, I've never been more thankful to be a hunter. Enjoy the show. Well, we just arrived at the honey hole. Primitive weapon season's a week away. And man, oh man, Dad and I have had some amazing experiences here over the years. And Kaylin got her first taste of it last year with a beautiful buck. So um, we're hoping for similar success this year. I mean, the field looks good. There's some regrowth canola coming up and some green feed out in the flats. I'm not sure if they're hitting it. We're probably gonna come do some scouting through the Burris optics and see what's going on. But for now, gonna set up a reveal cell cam, put some Black Widow deer, lure, deer lures and scents out. We're gonna make a mock scrape and licking branch fire stand here and trail camera and hopefully get some action on it but other than that we'll check the stands make sure they're good to go and uh can't wait to come in here in a week and see if we can't lay down a big buck well we're all ready to go change the ratchet straps on the tree stands just to be safe and cut the branches that we needed to so Hopefully we can uh, let the muzzleloader bark here in a week's time. I'm excited to get back here. Well, it's the day before the primitive weapon season opens and I came out scouting this morning. Boy, am I glad I did. There's probably eight deer right in front of our tree stands that we want to sit in and I think there's a nice buck there, maybe a couple. So. Um, it's just first light now. I can just get a bit of a visual of their antlers and, and all the deer through the burst spotter. And uh, hopefully I can get some footage of them through the Tacticam. But this is so awesome to see. There's one deer I want to see this year from last year because we've watched him grow up the last few years. And I figure this year is going to be his year that he, he's worth shooting. There he is. The buck I wanted to see. We've seen this deer for years. He's always been killable at the beginning of the season too. And he's out there walking right by our stands and it's pretty much broad daylight now. He looks good. He's got a wider frame, good mass. I think he's by far the biggest buck I saw this morning out of the six bucks. So this is fantastic. Not to mention tomorrow's the opener. Well, all the deer action settled down. They all went into the bush. 
almost every buck hit that rubbing post which was awesome to see and they're about a hundred yards to the right of our tree stands and it can be kind of hard to shoot that way so I'm just gonna go in now and uh, there's a row of bales that they walk by so I'm gonna do like a little man-made blind at the end of the bales um, we've done it in years past and it's worked out but I think that might be our best bet for hunting this buck so I'm gonna go in there and do that now and uh, hopefully it pays off and we can get a shot at him Moment of Truth TV is brought to you by Conlin Motorsports. Find your adventure. iHunter app. Know your regs inside and out. Black Widow Deer Lures. Number one whitetail estrus and deer scents. Tacticam. Share your hunt. Sights and Arms. Your firearm specialists. Prime Archery. The most accurate bows on the planet. Dry Shod. Canada's most wearable rubber boot. Huntworth gear when concealment matters the most and by ramrods archery premium hunting stabilizers Well, it's opening morning of the primitive weapon season and I am super stoked. We're just getting ready to head in now It's a super frosty morning and a bit foggy, but I'm hoping scouting pays off and maybe that nice buck or another buck will do what he, he did yesterday and uh, come right down the pipe and we might get a shot at him. Right now the wind's kind of, it's dead calm, slight east, so we might sit in the blind I made yesterday or um, do something else. We're not sure. We're going to see what the wind is when we get in there. Hopefully not bump anything and uh, we should see some deer. So let's head in there now and hope for a good morning. Well, that's a wrap on our first morning. Overall, it was a great morning. And uh, we did get a little wet though. It rained and then it started snowing. We had one little buck come by before first light. He went by the reveal. And then we were sitting there and it got light and we we're like, where are the deer? And it was snowing. Sure enough, they came up over the hill. I think there was seven or eight of them. A couple does, a couple little bucks. And one decent three and a half year old five by five. Uh, that just needs a couple years, but the big one did elude us. I'm not sure if he went in early or what he did, but uh, we're gonna keep at it and uh, see what the next couple couple sits bring. Well, it's morning number two. We're getting ready to head in. Um, hoping for a similar morning to yesterday, but uh, maybe that bigger buck come by. So we've got a good wind this morning. They shouldn't smell us. I think it's southeast. Should be able to slip into our bale blind, kind of sit back. And uh, if they follow that draw to that rubbing post and into their bedding, we should have a crack at one. So let's head in there and see what happens.
I just dropped him. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Dad, he's a mega giant. I got him. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what to say. Scouting paid off in a big way today. I came here two mornings ago and he came right through here. I made this bail blind and we came in here yesterday morning and he was a no-show and we call him Mr. Regular because we've been watching this deer do this exact same thing for three years. And this morning we snuck in planned perfectly executed we're watching two bucks behind us he came over the hill and was walking right at us i was almost out of shooting lane i was leaning sideways on my sticks it wasn't an easy shot although he was only like 70 yards I that's out. a good shot man no tracking needed dad oh, oh my god. gosh he's giant i knew he had a split he blew up into a big buck this year and he's down right there <sighs> you know what this season has been so incredible i don't I, like it's been so blessed watching the sunrise come up this morning. I'm like, oh, I'm just happy to be out here And sure enough, he came over the hill was coming right at us big old buck redhead chocolate antlers giant <laughs> I love a quick clean ethical kill like that doesn't get better put the burst on him and let it rip Oh, I can't I wait to go it. put my hands on this God, giant buck. You're beautiful. Isn't buck. he beautiful? You I know what? Everything happens for a reason guys like, we almost killed this buck last year. He was borderline shooter. I could have shot him in the creek bed over here, but I let him go because the shot wasn't perfect. And dad was hunting him. We grunt, snort, wheezed him in. Last year he came running in. And the year before that, we passed him like 20 times right in this corner. So, oh, what a blessing. And you know what? I, I, I don't even know what to say. I can't wait to go put my hands on him. <laughs> there go, buddy. The dream season continues, but she's over for me now. Here to... <laughs> This segment is brought to you by Sights and Arms for all your firearm, shooting, and hunting needs. Also, get booked for the best firearm training, shooting sports, and reloading courses today. I think I just dropped him. Oh my gosh. I go, buddy. <laughs> oh, getting out of our little nest, and our buck's only 60 yards away. Let's go check them out. Just an absolute beautiful sunrise. Cool, crisp morning. Seeing a giant white tail like that come up over the hill. It's what I live for as a hunter. <laughs> he blew up. Holy smoke. Red headed giant with a split G2. Look at that. Look That's him. Look at that, Dad. Beautiful five point side. And he's a giant. Oh, big monster body on him. Just a mature buck. I'm so glad this buck was able to reach pretty much his full potential here. Watching him grow up over the years. It's unbelievable to lay your hands on a buck that you have so much history with. We're going to get him propped up for a better interview. I admire this giant buck. <sighs> Well, everyone, I'm kind of speechless right now. This is the primitive weapon buck of my dreams. When it comes to deer hunting, whitetail deer hunting specifically, it's one of my greatest passions in life. And uh, there's nothing cooler than watching a buck grow up. Um, we have years of history with this guy, and he's either five or six. He blew up. It just really goes to show you how much antler a buck can put on in a year. This morning was surreal. Uh, when it comes to this season, it's either it happens the second day early for me, or I have to grind it out. And the first day, we had great action. We had bucks come through, and just not this guy. After scouting and watching him come right through here, I was kind of shocked, because I thought he might do the same thing two mornings in a row. And <laughs> sure enough, we snuck in this morning with the wind in our face, got in the bail blind that I had made just the other day. He came up over the hill and started beelining it right for us. And I put the burrs cross arrows on him, and I was watching him walk in, and I seen that red head, heavy rack, big mature buck, and my heart was actually beating out of my chest. And uh, I just burped him, he stopped, settled my crosshairs on the shooting sticks, and let it rip. And the end result is a beautiful buck, quick clean kill, and uh, just a gorgeous, gorgeous Alberta whitetail. It's been a dream season, I don't know what to say, it's surreal. Honestly, it just seems to keep working out, and I'm on a roll. All I can say is, I'm very thankful and blessed. That's all I can say, really. The season's been unbelievable for me, and to fold my last egg on a specimen like this, 
dream come true. And I just got to thank my dad for sticking with, <laughs> with me through it all, filming it all, capturing it all in film. And then we get to share it with you guys. And that's, I love that more than anything. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this hunt on Moment of Truth TV. Um, it's been just a surreal, surreal morning and uh, something that I'm going to think about and appreciate for the rest of my life. Moment of Truth TV is brought to you by Revolution Armory, Canada's best custom shotguns. G5 Outdoors, designed to hunt. Burris Optics, find what matters. Reveal cellular cameras, always on the hunt. Victory Archery, the carbon arrow experts. Kent Cartridge, quality matters and performance counts. RV City, generations of family fun. And by Tween Lake Feed Solutions, quality wildlife feed. Two days after finding success during the primitive weapon season, Dad, myself, and Bailey headed out to a local creek along a pea field for one last waterfowl hunt. Nice walk. Okay, these are geese. <laughs> Got two, baby. God, they came yeah, in they, nice. They take off fast in the wind, but they, I got two. <laughs> good girl, Bailey. Holy smokes. She's good, good. girl, baby. Feed her. That's a nice gun. Bring it here, bring it in. Good girl. So far, so good. It's a little slow, but we've had two fox come like basically right in. I'm shooting the Kent Fast Steel 2.0 this morning and a five for five. So, so far, very, very impressed. Oh, that was sweet. <laughs> Good girl, baby. Bring it in. Good girl. What a good girl. Oh, got one. Woo! Girl. Close. There's one close. I know. Go, go. I got him. Yep, they're coming again. <laughs> Got two. Now that's some shoot right there, buddy. Go get him. Good job. <laughs> I uh, they're a little far, so I just took the one to be safe. That can't reach out there and fold it. <laughs> Nice call, and he came from a long oh. ways. Isn't that something? 
Bien, ve. Ya. <laughs> right in there. What a girl. What a girl. Look at that bean. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful Drake. Well, that's a wrap on a great morning. You know what, Dad came out here yesterday morning and spotted this and we had shot this field and we noticed that the ducks were really coming in here. So he came to check her out and sure enough, they're still doing it. And we came this morning with low expectations <laughs> and right off the hop, we had a bunch of ducks coming around and circling. We were kind of flight shooting them and uh, putting the Revolution Arm shotgun, RX-2, and the Ken ammunition to work. And Dad couldn't miss at the beginning. He was oh just dropping God. everything. So then uh, we switched and I got some shooting in and I got my fair share. So just overall, it was a great morning. We got to bring Bailey, our pup, out. Yeah. And she got to, uh, she was doing all right retrieving. We don't put a lot of training into her, but uh, you could see the instincts kicking in and her running out there and grabbing the birds for us. So overall, it was a great morning and uh, one I'm thankful for. Closed captioning is brought to you by Burris Optics. Find what matters.